Good evening, everybody. A huge welcome once again. Um, today, we are talking to the amazing Erin from Juniper and Oaks in a little bit of while. First and foremost, if we haven't met before, let me reintroduce myself to you. My name is Fiona and I am the designer behind Cozy Rosie Crochet, which is my YouTube channel, which you're watching me on right now, potentially, or you're over in the Facebook group. So a huge welcome to everybody that is watching us live. Now, <laughs> Cozy Rosy Crochet is my passion to share crochet patterns that are uh, kind of easy to access for beginners and those that are improving their crochet skills. And I'm very lucky that I get to work alongside lots of amazing crochet designers. And today's crochet designer is one of my favorites. Don't tell all the others. And the reason that I absolutely love all the work that Erin of Juniper and Oaks does is because it provides tutorials lots of different skills and techniques and we're going to talk about one particular technique today which I know is a hugely popular one which is of course corner to corner crochet. Now before I do anything else I always forget to put my phone on do not disturb. I have done that now. I hope you've got your phone on do not disturb so you don't have to leave this at any point but if you do don't forget you can watch this on a catch up. For those of you that are watching this on catch up right now I want you to comment a big hello I've just posed the question, if you have any questions about corner to corner crochet, any of the techniques that are needed to use it from how to follow a chart, how to change colours, how to manage potentially all the different colours, we are going to cover as much of that as we can tonight. Um, I'm also going to be sharing with you some details about my latest crochet pattern release and we're going to hear from Erin about her up and coming event and some previous ones that are going to be of great interest to you that do feature the corner to corner crochet. So let me welcome in Erin. I have to press some buttons, so bear with me because you know me and technology are not the best of friends. And there she is. I'm just going to change the view ever so slightly. There we are. Oh, I'm a bit close. Hi, I can hear you. Yay. Wonderful. I was just thinking a little bit earlier because we tried to go live together, didn't we? And it was actually yonks ago. It was all the way back in march believe it or not and i was like oh i can't believe that time has flown so quickly so Erin, no i know who you are of course but i would love for you to introduce yourself to everybody who is watching so they can know a little bit more about you please yes hello my name is Erin uh from juniper and oaks my last name is taves pronounced taves but it looks like it's toes <laughs> whatever i just get that a lot so i just thought i'd say I am the crocheter, designer, wear of all the hats behind Green Up Heard Oaks. I crochet a lot of different home decor pieces and publish my designs. Uh, my designs tend to like feature a lot of color work or textured stitches, um, both beginner friendly and then those who wanting to advance their stitches a bit more. As you said earlier, I do provide a lot of tutorials, uh, pictures and videos related to all those stitches because I want them to be user friendly and I want them to be accessible to all crocheters. Um, so that's why I do what I do. Same. <laughs> and that's what I love you for it, honestly, because it helps bridge that gap. Because, you know, not some people would struggle even to read a crochet pattern, some people struggle to understand a chart. It's a whole thing. And when you're first ever learning, as I get a lot of beginners to both my YouTube channel and in my Facebook group, it can feel almost overwhelming when you're faced with all this extra information it's like oh and i think i love the fact that you break it down so that people can focus on the, what they need to know to get the pattern done exactly you know we're not all the same uh like some people can read a pattern and be like oh that i understand what that means but there's uh, those of us who are visual learners and need the pictures and those that need like more steps like the video uh so that we know what our hands are supposed to look like as it's happening <laughs> that's kind of how i learn it's just like doing and watching um, kind of the see one do one so um, sorry I, I have like this table in front of me and I just look down and there's like bones <laughs> it's like my kids hang out place so sorry that I just got really distracted I'm like what is on my table <laughs> so, well, squirrel. I'm assuming it's a squirrel or something so for me I went to the park and I walked Emily yesterday and it was the most glorious autumn day now I think you're just going into autumn I can see you still have green leaves which is quite a shame however to your right there is a very autumnal leaf isn't there <laughs> look at that green leaves in the oh, back right. here we go we got some burnt orange right here this is my brand new pattern that was released today as part of the autumn exclusive this year 
Like, well, I thank you so much for including that design in the um, in the event because I'm a huge fan of it. And obviously, I don't know if you know that I really love fall. And when I say mm -hmm. fall, I mean, I've been fortunate enough, I'm sure I, I harp on about this all the time. A couple of years ago, I got to visit and travel around New England and all up there during fall. And it was an early fall. So I got all of it. Yeah. And, um, I finished my, my little holiday uh, in Canada and my friend's apartment in Toronto overlooked a park. And every day you could see the color changes moving through oh the park. Gosh. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. Oh, yeah, this I'm so perfect happy. for you. Yes. So this is a corner to corner project, yes? Yes, it is corner to corner. Uh, the backside is quite easy. It's just all one color. Um, and in the front side, we have this color work. Uh, so if you've never done corner to corner crochet, I suggest you purchase my patterns and then you start with the back uh, so that you just know the basics because it's just back and forth and you will just pick this up right quick. And then you can dive right into the color work on the front side. Love it. So in my latest crochet along, I did a corner to corner square, which dealt with the absolute basics of color changes in the ends of the rows. Because obviously when you start decreasing, you need to change color at a different point, don't you? But yeah. you haven't got any edge color changes, which makes life a little bit easier. internal. I specifically did that for this um, so that it is easy as far as the color work on the um, border goes and along the edges. So uh, I think this is a good place to start for color to color. Most definitely. So this is your autumn um, autumn leaf autumn leaf corner to corner pillow. Yes. So this is, in case you're you're not aware of it, this is today's featured pattern in the autumn exclusives event, which means I have to get this bit really thorough out. Um, today, which is the 9th of October, you can take 50% off this pattern using the coupon code linked below. Um, You'll also find a link to Erin's um, YouTube channel as well, because obviously you're going to fall in love with her as much as I do, and you want to go and give, go and want to go and give her a follow as well. Um, now, obviously, I can guess what your inspiration was behind this pattern. I always like to ask about people's inspiration because it's not always as obvious as it as it might appear. So, what was your inspiration? Uh, my inspiration was I was actually designing a bunch of different things for other people's patterns. Um, I, uh, yeah, I was part of Helen from a Sunflower Cottage Crochet. She's running a crochet along right now. It's corner to corner squares. Um, but that one is a fall or a harvest, a community okay. garden sort of harvesty feel. Um, so I designed a pumpkin for that, which I have a pillow that goes along with it. <laughs> Oh, that's adorable. Yes. And so while I was designing that, I just went ahead and did this fall leaf as well um, because fall was on my mind and I just knew this would make a beautiful, beautiful pillow. I am like you. I love fall. I used mm -hmm. to think that summer was my absolute favorite, but then, you know, there's something about fall and the color change and it just gets so cozy, perfect for crocheting and for drinking tea and just like snuggling up with a blanket. But then also you get days that are beautiful, like today where I can just be outside and um, get that fresh air. So I, I love fall. And I just um, realized I had a lot of uh, like wintry patterns and kind of summery patterns that I knew I just needed a fall pillow pattern. So we're going to get a green one in spring. I should, shouldn't I? That would make sense. Yeah, you really should. <laughs> yeah. Well, like seasonal thing. Why not? Why not? A yeah. season collection. Um, so what yarn did you use for this pattern? I used, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. I uh, had just some stuff on hand. Um, these are colors that I use. Um, I used to do a couple craft fairs um, and I would use the burnt orange and these for my pumpkins that I made. Um, so I just had a lot of this on hand already um, to the point where I like ran out of the color and I was like, and I went to Hobby Lobby and they were sold out and I was like, oh, let me just check my closet one more time. And I was like, here it is. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about when it comes to random yarns being everywhere. Oh, really? My yeah, turn around. No, no, nothing, nothing, nothing to see here. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, we're crazy yarn ladies, and that's mm -hmm. for sure. Um, so yeah, I love this yarn by Hobby Lobby. It's a super soft um, worsted weight yarn 
this one has four colors. Can I count one, two, three, three colors? I think. <laughs> um, well, and and then, <laughs> so, <laughs> I want. I'm pointing out my pumpkin pattern too because I'm doing. You can get this one for fifty percent off. You can also get this one for fifty percent off using the same code. So it's like a two for one. Buy I one. Like that. Yeah. So I'm just promoting both of them. The, and they can join uh, both code. Both those links will be on the same page on your website, I'm assuming. Yep, yep, yep. Sorry, I didn't look at your blog post. Don't tell anybody. I just assumed everything was fine. So. That's so funny. It's working because so I'm getting some purchases. So Wonderful. That is always good news. So <laughs> when I first spoke to my audience recently about the Autumn Exclusives event, I kind of harped on a little bit maybe a little bit too much about the whole collaborative community thing which you know I'm very passionate about um and the reason that I love that is because this gives us the opportunity myself included to get in front of other crocheters that we might not reach but you know there's wonderful algorithms and all that kind of stuff it works wonders doesn't it but at times it means that we can sometimes be kind of hidden um and this kind of these kind of events where we all collaborate and share each other's patterns and put each other out in front of each other's audiences can have a huge impact on us finding those people that, you know, we want to crochet for, because that's what we do effectively, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I love how we're able to get in front of each other's audiences and show like your audience loves uh, uh, new techniques. You just did that hodgepodge cow. We all learned a lot with that. Um, so maybe they can learn something new by following my patterns. I'm certain that a lot of people will like your your cushion, most definitely. I must get my own copy. Well, I know I have, but I'll, I'll get one properly as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bonus for doing this event. Um, so now it's funny because actually in Autumn Exclusives, we have three corner to corner patterns. Okay, I saw I saw Helen's stag pattern in my pillow. and we have a the autumn stripes blanket that was I think earlier this week and okay. that's also corner to corner. So it's the first time we've had that many in the same technique because I think with a lot of us like myself and you, where we've done video tutorials and we've really kind of focused on that skill, more people realize that it's okay to design with it. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah it's wonderful, um, and obviously. I mean, I've always, I've never done color work. I'm very lazy. I will hold my hands up and say, it's not my cup of tea. Um, I like stranded color work or mm. tapestry. That's about as far as it goes. Um, only because there's something you need. Oh, I pulled my drawer out. I have them in this drawer here. There's something you need if you're working multiple colors potentially, isn't there? When you're doing corner to corner. And that's something called a bobbin, isn't it? Bobbin. My nightmare. So my nightmare. many strands of yarn. Yeah. So many strands of yarn. Uh, this one actually turned out to be pretty okay. Um, but yeah, so when you're you, doing work, especially you, with, sorry, sorry, we're talking over you each other. What, because it's a cushion, mm -hmm. I would cheat, and mm -hmm. I would float my colours like Fair Isle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I'm lazy. Yeah, I do that. Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, exactly. Um, I I did a Fourth of July like American flag um, pillow this summer with uh, Helen from Sunflower Cottage Crochet. Uh, yeah, it, everyone was like, "How all those stars, all the ends, and like turn it around, like play around. They're all connected. You don't need to see the back." And no one sees it. That's the joy of it. Mm -hmm. I've done that with wall hangings as well, because we need to find the easy ways of doing these. And that is the easiest way is sometimes if no one's going to see the other side of your pattern, just float mm -hmm. float across the back and no one will ever know. Mm -hmm. um, well, that brings me to uh, last year's Nordic cow, the corner to corner cow. I um, This is another collaborative project. Uh, that I hosted on my blog last year. So these were corner to corner squares, like this Christmassy kind of Nordic ugly sweater type feel. Um, yeah, corner to corner uh, color work. You're gonna have ends, <laughs> lots of bobbins. You need lots of either different um, skeins of yarn or just make different balls. Um, but in the end, you're gonna have a lot of ends. And I do finally have all of these woven in. Um, but here's this pattern, if you guys are interested, um, once you get the hang of corner to corner and you wanna practice color work, learn something new, look at this beauty. Isn't this great? It is 
stunning. There are some beautiful squares in there. I think I vaguely remember that I pulled out of that event when I realized it was color work, didn't I? But I'm sorry yeah. about that. You're like, uh, I don't know how to do that. I don't do that. No, no. <laughs> and now, I mean, I know how to do it. I just, I just, I will make anything with corner to corner. I just grab some variegated yarn instead. Yeah, I hear that. Okay. I hate ends sometimes. I really hate ends. There's nothing like that. No. Well, we all have our limitations, don't we? Or things that we can't stand. But I, I must admit, I love that Nordic cow, the corner to corner version. I haven't spent a lot of time looking at something that's coming up yet. We're going to get to in a moment. But to my knowledge, the Nordic cow was still on your homepage on your website, wasn't it? Yep. So the like for Shalom version is still over. Is over. Um, but there are free charts for the corner to corner uh, designs. Are all they should all still be free on the designers web page. So yep. if you go to like just junipernoaks.com, you'll see uh, the Nordic winter cow corner to corner Afghan or whatever it's called. Uh, <laughs> you will see a button for that, and then you can get all the charts for free. Um, still, and there's also an ebook that's available if you would rather have the written patterns and kind of some more resources in there as well. Um, so that's all still available for purchase. We just not it's not the community feel where we're all doing it together, but um, definitely people are still making it, and these I, yeah. are beautiful. You know, I did black and white, um, but I have seen some that are like really multicolored, some blue. I'm sure I saw someone did a cre a green and cream version. Yes. And that was so striking. Obviously, I have no idea who that was. But it just blew me away when I saw it with that kind of really festive green. I was trying to think, I've actually got a similar green next to me. Yeah. And it was like kind of, oh, I just love it. Not that I'm, I'm not, oh, I'm not making it. I won't even. We all know you're not. <laughs> I might make a cushion. I can't do a blanket, no. Because I know I can float that cushion. <laughs> Right, there's no floating on this blanket. Um, yeah, so now I know that you're um, taking the Nordic cow a step further this year as well. And obviously, I would love for you to share a little bit more information about that, please. Yes, definitely. So there are plenty of crocheters who are just like you, Fiona, who um, who love like the design and like how it looks and like the Christmassy feel and um, just kind of that classic winter look. Um, but they don't want to do that nasty color work. Uh, and it's totally understandable. It's yeah, I mean these squares kind of take forever, and it's it's a special it's a special blanket. So I got asked, can I um, do another crochet along this year? Um, but that's a little bit easier um, and not so many trying to figure out how do we hide these ends and and whatnot. So I pulled through everybody. I am now hosting another um, collaborative crochet along. It officially starts tomorrow, October tenth. And here it is. A little sneak peek. It's a big monster blanket, but same feel. I chose a little bit more cozier colors this time. Um, but this was designed by myself and seven other designers. And this is overlay mosaic technique. Mm -hmm. uh, if you've seen this technique and you've never tried it, it looks so difficult, but it's not, is it? No, it looks intimidating. It looks really intricate. Like you have to know something really special to make this. But this is so easy. Sorry if that was too loud. No, tell me one thing. The easiest question that everyone's asked about this. What stitch does it use? It uses single crochet and double crochet. Single crochet yeah, and double crochet. That's not it. Fancy. Yeah. 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 So the only the only little, little difference is, is like single crochet through the back loop, double crochet <laughs> through the front loop. Yeah. And like but that's easy. That's just one little step. Like, yeah, you know, front loop, back loop. I have a tutorial on my um, blog that just walks you through each of those stitches. Um, there's videos, there's pictures. It's really easy. There's videos um, on your YouTube channel? Yes. And I, on my YouTube channel, I have videos. Link below, so, yeah. <laughs> you'll get that. <laughs> Definitely. We're not, in the description we're not below. Yeah. <laughs> so hard so to remember where everything is, isn't it? Yes. One other thing that gets intimidating about um, overlay mosaic crochet is that it is, you just use one color per row. Um, so there's really no color work. It's stranded, just like you like, Fiona. It's yes, I do. Well, I like, I like overlay mosaic. I really do. Yeah. Look at the back. It's just stripes. And you can get this little funky design by um, just like the front loop, back loop thing. Yeah. But it's just stripes. At the end of each row, you fasten off. Um, and then you start again at the right side, or if you're left hand at the left side, um, you just start again at the beginning with the next color. 
it's all putting it back and forth and you get a million i was going to bring out a sample you get you have a million ends but we use what's called an envelope border and it's like this double thick border using front loop back loop and you just hide them you just hide them no weaving in i think i wove in one end that was like left over from yes. um yeah just one end you just didn't quite capture it as it went as you went past it yes yeah. <laughs> or like when I, always way, always that way. Way. I was like oh what do i do with that okay so it's fine this is it's easy it's so easy yeah. and it's beautiful it is stunning yeah. i really like the the trees that are upside down and those ones like i'm po pointing at the screen you can't see where i'm pointing those ones they're my favorites this was yeah. designed by jamie of remington lane crochet wintergreen trees yeah yeah lovely this is another like a collaboration, like I told you. So you're able, if you um, jump into this cal, you can learn all about um, myself and seven more designers. Some of them are brand new designers. I had a tester who was like, can I design for that? I'm like, hey, submit a design and I will, you know, yeah. She designed her very first pattern she ever designed with these beautiful angels. That person is going to go far, isn't she? So far, she is. Yeah. I love that. I love that we're helping other people get into this mess. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so, so I have to mention, if you don't mind, just for a moment, because I do have a brand new pattern out today. Um, I would show it to you, but in my haste to tidy up, my neighbor came around yesterday and I gifted it to her. So now I don't have my project, which is ridiculous. <laughs> it's absolutely, luckily I've taken lots of photos. I don't have any videos, but hey ho. Um, and I want to mention, don't ask, it's just the way I do things. It's a bit strange. Um, I have, now, does this look as fluorescent in on video? It looks like fuchsia pink, like it's on fire, yeah. Yeah, it's literally glowing. Now I shared this, this yarn with my um, video last week when I was doing the uh, prize draw um, and it's Furls Wonder Yarn. So this was gifted to me from Furls. I believe you had a special little selection from Furls as well early in the year because I was lucky enough to be featured in the Furls, no, the Crochet Foundry blog hop today with my bright and bob, bright and bold bobbles triangle shawl. God, that's a long name. Um, <laughs> but the reason... I made that design was simply because of the color selection. I thought this would be a little bit warmer and maybe not quite so <laughs> in your face. <laughs> Bless it. I mean, this is what happens when you order online and you can't sometimes see the colors. As you can see, I have quite a muted tone behind mm -hmm. me and yeah, it stands out. So I paired it up with a cooler color, which also looks incredibly sheeny. Um, and it's again, the mist color, which I did my whole, which I don't think you can see actually at the moment. I bring it on. My whole pocket shawl was in mist. Oh, I love that shawl. Um, and I really like this bobble shawl because it really allows you, if you've ever made a questionable yarn purchase, I wouldn't consider this questionable. It's just incredibly bright, but we all have those balls of yarn, like you were saying, that get tucked in the cupboard and we kind of forget that they're there this shawl can solve that problem it really can and it just highlights these extras without going without being a little bit too overwhelming so i wanted to mention it because i know that you also featured in the fells crochet no foundry crochet foundry block hop i always say the wrong thing crochet foundry block hop earlier in the year didn't you what was your pattern that you did with them? yeah it's not here either but it's the oh. um, it's granny's four square granny's four square pillow and it's a pillow pattern featuring four granny squares in the front and the back. It was released um, just right around granny square day. Um, so that was my pattern. I just, I, I do like that. Um, it is Furl's Wander yarn featured in the yes. fancy block hop. Um, I like that yarn because it is like, there are some colors that are very bright, but then there's also those like kind of really just like warm muted, but they're shiny, they're soft, they're comfortable. I mean, look at the difference between this pink <laughs> Live and learn. But it, this is called fiesta quite rightly in my opinion Party. i should have made like a bralette or something i think but hey ho mm -hmm. um i can't model those because yeah um it's not not fair on anybody it really isn't but um i shouldn't say that i'd wear one on holiday but not yeah no you're fine, fine. 
Oh, you're healthy. I've got full on caffeine. That is a zero. It's going to point out it's, it's no sugar. Cheers. Well, if anybody caught me live yesterday, I went live on YouTube, yeah. and Facebook, and Instagram about this blanket. I, I had just coffee all day. All day. And so I, don't think, I'm like, I don't think I snacked between nine and like three. And so I was just like, I have this blanket. <laughs> I was not healthy yesterday. That's like me pretty much every day. <laughs> Literally every day. I'm just overly caffeinated. So now if you would like to find out more about Erin's four granny square cushion or perhaps my own bold and bright bubbles, you can actually find both of those patterns linked in the personal boundary bulk hop, which is of course linked below in the description box. If you are watching this on the Facebook group, welcome by the way, um, there's also a link in the comments box below which has all these links in there for you um, and i've linked of course my own brighton bold bobbles shawl in my facebook group too it's everywhere it's everywhere it has to go everywhere um so now i've you've used Fells wonder yarn before haven't you and so this isn't your first time that you've ever used it when you made your corner your uh, granny square cushion was it yeah hey you know me don't you yes i uh <laughs> No, I really no, I've done this beforehand. This is great. I did use it once before. I crocheted a porch and picnic blanket that's in the Crochet Foundry magazine. Um, and so I used the uh, Wander yarn for that big blanket. Uh, okay, I remember everything, trust me. Yeah, no, that's good. That, I'm uh, on and those colors I used were kind Everyone of can. like a summery, like a pink lemonade feel. Yes. Um, so they have like a wide selection. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't get to use it as often as I would like because I really like this yarn. Um, I think it is still only stocked in the US, unfortunately. So, oh, and the obviously with price increases and shipping costs and stuff at the moment, it's really, it's, it is an investment if you're purchasing the volume that I purchase. Of you, obviously, I don't buy like one ball because and spend seventeen dollars of shipping. It won't be more than that. Yeah, yeah, you need to make it worth it, don't you? Yeah. They're sending me a few skeins. I um, for a stocking pattern that will come later this nice. year. Nice. Well, mm -hmm. I can't tell you anything about stockings at the moment. Oh. Okay, there's only a couple. Hopefully, the people that watch this on catch up will figure it out because I'm going live again uh, next week or the week after to share more about something coming that's that related if that okay. makes sense and i'm very excited for it i think i've you've seen a picture haven't you yes did i put it in the facebook group my little chat did i put it in the chat group i think i did um yeah so i'm a hundred percent festive at the moment like i have to sit up for a photo shoot tomorrow i'm not allowed to put everything up but there will be more things going up certainly I, i'm all about the christmas patterns i really am oh yeah <laughs> Yes. Well, yeah, I know. I'm, I wouldn't have guessed. Wouldn't My have guessed. trees aren't even like orange yet, but yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, our leaves are starting to come down, but it's certainly getting to the cold enough more than anything. So finally, I know I'm sorry, I'm digressing again because I'm now thinking festive. So we have, of course, just to round it all up this evening. I want to say thank you, of course, Erin. I appreciate that you're sat outside so you can keep an eye on the people that are behind the camera as they run around. Um, and I, want to, I know it's you know, Sundays are a precious day. So first and foremost, thank you for joining me. Thank you for those that have watched. If you haven't already, please go and check out Erin's YouTube channel, which is linked below, which is Juniper and Oaks. That is the YouTube channel title. You can hit the subscribe button and of course that notification bell so you never miss out on another one of her tutorials or her free patterns again. Make sure you visit the Autumn Exclusives link so you can go and find that coupon code. It's only valid well, I'm sure Erin will extend it if she has to, but it is valid at least up until 8 a.m. tomorrow morning GMT plus one because we're still on British summertime. Um, and you can take 50% off with the coupon code. Now, there's something that I haven't mentioned because I always forget to do it. And that is, of course, all the wonderful designers that are taking part. So that including myself, there are 15 designers taking part in the Autumn Exclusives event. And there is a pattern bundle for that. And I think we've we've together we've priced it extremely competitively considering the quality of the patterns that are in there it's priced at only $13.95 it's got three different corner to corner patterns it has oh my beautiful you can't hear me now oh she's attacking me go away um my beautiful pocket shawl pattern it has oh uh, berets what else is in there everything oh there's more to Ow. come this week there's more to come 
this beautiful pattern still coming. We've got, well, today's Sunday, five more patterns to go. So we've still got five new, brand new patterns launching this week as part of the World Exclusive event, I know. And, and it's only a short one this year. So um, it's been an absolute pleasure, actually. I will be honest, it's been lovely and easy. Um, and we have all of those, all of those launching. So yeah, if you haven't already, please go and purchase your bundle because that's only available until Friday. Friday, Saturday, sorry. Saturday is the last day that you're going to be able to get hold of that pattern bundle. Um, and of course, you want that beautiful fall leaf. Don't forget that Erin's very kindly put in her other pattern, as if by magic, Ta -da! <laughs> which includes the pumpkin corner to corner thing pillow that's the word you call them pillows we call them cushions um yeah seo for pillows are a nightmare for me because a pillow goes on a bed but anyway we're all different cushions go that's a cushion pad wow yeah. yeah i know it's weird isn't tomato, it tomato <laughs> it does it fascinates me no genuinely like some of it really confuses me um but yeah so go and check out all the links everything's in the description box erin it's been an absolute pleasure i would love the opportunity i'm going to do this public and invite you back to tell us more about your overlay mosaic as well because it's it's always a pleasure talking to you and you explain things so well so if you want to go and check out the nordic cal overlay mosaic cal I've yeah this year's called mosaic nordic cal Okay, thank you. That's much easier. Um, <laughs> you can go and check that out and go to straight over to juniperandoaks.com and you'll find all of those details there. Erin, as always, absolute pleasure. I'm looking at you instead of my camera, sorry. Um, absolute pleasure. Always lovely to see your face. Um, and yeah, guys, I will catch up with everybody. I think we've got a tutorial coming on Tuesday. I really do. What it might be is potentially stitches for the... Bright and bold, thank you. Bright and bold shawl. And I can tell you, oh, where is it? Emily was chewing on it the other day, um, which is probably not the best advert, is it, really, for it? But it just, <laughs> it's in a cupboard. I had to take it out of her reach. I am releasing a pattern that is one of my most popular patterns. I'm making it free because I'm in a very festive mood. Mm -hmm. If you know me, you might know what it is. Um, it's about two years old, um, and I have a crochet kit available for it. So there's a little hint, and I think that's due to come out. Hmm? But I think I might know. Yes, he has a very special name. He's named after one of my friend's husbands. They were not happy, but that's fine. Um, no, we're joking. She was fine. Um, and, yeah, it's I love it. It's one of my favorite patterns of all time. And I cannot wait to share that with you. And it's going to really make you feel very festive. So until then, I will be back with you very soon. Erin, I hope to chat to you. Oh, I'll chat to you tomorrow, let's be honest. Um, <laughs> uh, but we'll get you back on here as soon as possible because it's always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you to everyone who's watched on Catch Up. Of course, if you haven't and you're just finding this video and you've watched us have a little natter, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And of course, that notification bell, because I never want you to miss out on another one of my crochet tutorials or my patterns again. I will see you all again soon. Cheerio.